Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Today is October 30th, 2022. It is 2.20 a.m. I can't believe this. It took me an hour to put a list together for you guys because I haven't been at my desk, mm, I would say maybe two days or so. But I've been on my phone just looking at tweets and then I will like it. So it will pop up on my like section. So when I'm at my desk, I could have them all in one area to put on the list. So I had to go through some of them and some of them were somewhat irrelevant. So I tried to pick at least some of the important things, uh, the important tweets to share with you. So with that being said, let's go on Twitter. New subscribers, welcome. All right. So this is the first one. I'm going to try to start somewhat slow and then get into the good tweets so the dates might be slightly different like this one for instance was like yesterday but there are some that were a couple days prior to that okay in my student days the uk was known to have brilliant pr strategists watching the pr shambles from the royal family i have to wonder do they refuse to work for the royal family do the royal family refuse advice or did they all deteriorate like everything over there what's going on so this is me here I respond to it 21 hours ago okay I've been saying this it has to be deliberate no way an institution function in this manner perhaps the royal family or their own PR because they dictate the poor meaning the professional how to do their job my only thanking for the amount of failure I've been seeing and I've highlighted many of them on my channel what I'm talking about here all right, so 29 people like it, one retweet. And there's another one that I put. It popped up on my timeline again, and then another idea came, and I 
type this. Okay, the other thing I think is also in the USA trying to destroy the education system because of black and brown people. They forgot about themselves, destroy because of hate, but they fall victim of their doing. My two cents. Okay, two people like that one. Uh, one man step up to the job. Oh, that's a veil. <laughs> the pedophile. Mm -mm -mm. Pedophile Jimmy Seville wrote a PR handbook for the royal family and regularly advised Prince. Uh, uh, uh. There's a, how do you call this? Uh, is it still on Netflix about Jimmy Seville? So that's that. Okay, you have to have something to work with. <laughs> Without Queen Elizabeth, all that's left is a crusty old king and concert and blend and blender will and Kate. <laughs> Even with Elizabeth, the PR was shambles, and apart from reverence, well, let's just say, which I've also highlighted this channel, is that, uh, uh, what is it, these two, Charles and, uh, what's his name, him, um, Andrew, okay, uh, the queen had a secretary, a private secretary that was really doing his job, and he didn't take any BS from the royal family, so because uh, these two want uh, things, the uh, secretary will not give it to them. So what they did is that they teamed up, uh, Charles and Andrew teamed up uh, to get rid of him. I, highlight, I highlighted it on my channel, okay, ever since. I think it's, uh, there's an article, The Biggest Mistake or something like that. I, I don't remember what it called. If I still have that screenshot, I spoke about it. All right, they got rid of them and then they put someone... Uh, it was during when I was talking about Harry's security, I think. This uh, subject came up uh, as I discussed things on my channel. Is that they, they got rid of the guy. And then they put someone who was using under him. What What's his name? Gates or something like that? I'll look into it. So it's their doing. What I was saying here, it's pretty much uh, the first one. Okay? Perhaps the royal family or their own PR because they dictate the poor how to do their job okay so they wanted a yes sir person to be at that position and then hey if you want to get paid you have to do what your boss tells you to do and uh the other one who was there who they got rid of who knew the ins and outs of things and know you know only the queen has to say things and uh they got rid of them they overpowered them uh i guess the queen they got rid of him they voted him out they overpowered the queen but at the same time the queen is the queen and she should have put her foot down and said no they got rid of the secretary and ever since then things haven't been the same all right so it's not the queen's fault but who knows i don't even know how things work it was a article that i was reading that i came across it okay there's this one this is the comment that made me thought about um that even with elizabeth the pr was shambo and apart from reverence she didn't seem to give much to work with though i must say largely she was careful which uh, may be a strategy too let's see here and the last few years i think charles took over as regent yeah yeah i think charles did okay regent ish without public knowledge was mentioned once on that Royal Water YouTube channel, something along the line of two captain on on one ship. Yeah, he took over, and then um, hey, it hasn't been the same. Okay, I think they fire one who won't tell them what they want to hear. There it is. Yep, she knows that. That's exactly that. Yep, I think they fire anyone who won't tell them what they want to hear. Tell oh no, anyone. Okay, telling them that the royal family need the Sussexes more than the other way around will get them fired. Or that the Colonial Caribbean Nostalgia Tour was a <laughs> really bad idea, etc. Yeah, so th uh, this person is right. I don't think she knows uh, what I'm talking about, but she just put a generalization of things. But that's pretty much it, yeah. Honestly, I suspect some of those courtiers, advisors, or plants with other masters that's another thing too okay one of the things that i've said is william had hired a politician to work with him and then they know the ins and outs of their doing so they take advantage of it they do their strategies around 
the royal family because the royal family, in my humble opinion, from my understanding of things, is like another branch of government in the UK. Similar in the US, you have three branches of the government, the executive, the legislature, and the judicial. Okay, so the royal family is one similar. Okay, not the same, but similar as that. So once one branch of the government knows how um, the other one works, okay, so they strategize around them to make them do things for them so they don't take the blame. I've said this before. Uh, it was a huge mistake of William Hyde. I mean, even though many of the of the others have been, um, uh, I think courtiers have been part of politics, uh, politics and all of that, but majority of them from the past were really dedicated to the to the crown. But this one right now, the way in our time, 2022, everybody's for themselves. They want more. So in order to get more and knowing how the other branch is working, so they strategize around the other branch and make the other one do, you know, in other words, guide them to failure. I don't know. They haven't, you know, abolished them yet, but it's leading toward that. All right. So oh, did I finish reading? Honestly, I suspect some of those courtiers, advisors, or plants with other masters. The British monarchy may be so-called family, but the firm is very much an institution being run by people who serve more than the Saxe Coburn Gathers or even the... Yeah, I wondered this as well. If some staff are plants, but they're to keep the so-called masters in line. I think so too. I think so too. So people are getting the hint. It's just too bad the UK is in a blind. The royal family, well, I will not say the royal family. It's based on my understanding from reading other things, various mini little things here and there. From when they were trying to abolish the slavery, okay? So there were these two groups, let's say good and evil, where the evil still wanted that to be going, you know, slavery to continue. So when they realized that cannot continue, they went to their other plan. I'm just generalized things because I don't read too much of uh, uh, UK history, like deep, deep inside UK history, just a border things of things. Okay. A couple of times, uh, many of you guys have in, um, in the comment section have told me a couple of things within the history of the UK uh UK history. So me, my humble opinion here, one of the sides who wanted the uh, slavery to continue, but they abolished it. So what they went and doing is to do the next step, the strategy to make people hate the blacks and browns and whatever. So they got into government a little bit more. Okay, as they get into the government, they start shaping their system, their rules, their laws to uh, for their own advantage, which is, hey, that's everybody. You will shape your rules of law to advantage you. So they've been doing that. And while they're doing that, they create the, the newspapers to uh, generalize blacks and things like that, put fake images telling their nonsense. Now the the monarch caught up on that this is where my answer come here the monarch caught up on that for their own advantage okay so why but while they're trying to mislead the public for their own benefit now another group this is throughout time throughout time this didn't just happen in one moment is as a uh, step-by-step keeps on happening and they learn from it they see how they call it take advantage of certain situation so they manipulate it for their own advantage as we move forward let's say several decades and centuries you name it uh, other groups start taking advantage of it and then we're seeing what we are seeing now now another group came in and saw what the royal family are doing with the media and they take advantage of it and then put it on steroids i don't know if i'm making sense i don't want to put names out there because I, it's just too hard for me to, because this is my humble opinion. All right, let me leave that alone. Okay, let's go to the next tweet. I can't believe 12 minutes into this. Next tweet. 
Whew. Okay, this one here. That was two days ago. Pierce Morgan is having a meltdown over Harry's book, Delicious. All right, this was a 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Pierce Morgan about to be exposed and humiliated around the world in 16 languages. <laughs> You never know. Harry may not even mention it on his book. Pierce Morgan questioned over theft of Princess Di love letters. Oh, unless if uh, Harry mentioned this part. Okay, Mirror Editor Pierce Morgan appeared at London Sharing Cross Police Station on Thursday to be questioned over the alleged. Okay, um, there's a lot of comment on it. Hoping his cup is finally full. Princess Diana's spirit fight on. Okay, lol. Meanwhile, our Harry goes straight to number one best selling. I, <laughs> I just love it. Yeah, he has become number one in almost every place that is selling it. Okay, multiple meltdown. <laughs> Delicious. There's that. The people are laughing because there's more than a good chance Harry's going to call him out specifically for the hacking case. Peace, Morgan. Yeah, that's why they probably call him to question about the, the hacking case of course he's gonna lie to you too peace morgan whines for the first team he thinks whining makes him relevant said here yeah, this is pleasing to me and my homegirl i see here peace morgan despite his followers on twitter 8 million and instagram 1.8 million wake up why the world has gone nuts has sold just 5650 us print copies since it was published a year ago according to bookscan what that's all he sold for the amount of people he has following him, wow, <laughs> there's this. Is uh, every hour, lol. Harry. <laughs> Not just Pierce, the whole world. What is that? Okay, yes, it's bestseller already. Keep clowning. What is he so afraid of? Pierce Morgan and his wife have been writing reams of hateful rubbish about Harry, his wife, and the royal family for years. What a nerve to complain when Harry writes about himself. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go to the next tweet, and it's about Peace Morgan as well. Next one. Enjoying at Peace Morgan increasingly unhinged hourly tweets about Prince Harry's book, Five in the Last Five Hours. What? See, I don't follow him, so I won't know. Let's see here. Is that. Oh, that's him. Prince Privacy will hurl his latest torrent of malevolent money making mark at the royal family just in time to ruin his father's coronation as king. I mean, people have to live their lives. The world doesn't stop for one person. Things move on. Wow. These people are ridiculous. Charles should strip his uh, petulant, selfish, greedy. Oh, you're talking about greedy? They're calling Harry greedy for even uh, donating uh, some of his uh, earnings for the book to charity. They're calling that greedy when the father is carrying cash of money from uh, middle east this is greedy wow hypocritical brat of all his remain royal title status asap asap well they might they should just take the title away enough with the title nonsense they keep on bringing up uh see once they take the title away it's gonna be something else all right what was it before megan go back to america Pierce, if, you know, if you want to be private go back to america and live privately it's pretty straightforward <laughs> and then they are irrelevant they did okay next day oh before that it was about paying for the flag mark taking money from the public purse and all of that they say i don't want your money but i'll work for free nope something else flag more they pay that go back to america they did that and now he's writing his book now the next thing is title do whatever they're still moving forward with our prayers okay only god has a say so on their way of moving forward all right do you care about the massive global damage this book will cause to our new king before he is even coronated i mean he did his own damage before that or not even that as late as right after his mom passed making a fool of himself writing up uh you know from an egg of a pen my wish is that my husband finds peace of mind and from that follows other things yes i just heard is it september 12th 13th
My wish is that my husband finds peace of mind, and from that follows other things, yes. And then the amount of abuse they cause people around the world throughout history? Jeez. Okay, and while he still grieve for his mother. Oh, please, this? They were grieving for their mother? I don't think so. On 10 January 2023, readers everywhere will be part of a landmark publication. The story of Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, personal, emotional, powerful. Spare will be published by Transworld Books, supporting two special charities. Detail at Harry's... Well, let's give him prop, okay? Peace Morgan, let's give him prop. He's uh, promoting the book. All right, so Harry doesn't need any PR. So he's doing that for him. <laughs> this is the next hour. Playing the victim again as he trashes his family again from his California mansion. What did Harry do? The book, he wrote a book, nobody knows what's in it. All while playing the big privacy and humanitarian crusader. Where the, oh my God, this is an adult who's writing this? Wow. Well, guess what? He got the privacy that he needed it. Okay. He tells us what he wants to tell us when he wants to tell us. So he got the privacy that he wanted. All right. And thank you for telling them to go back to America. I appreciate that, Peace Morgan. Okay. There's this. Oh my God. Another hour. Okay. This is hilarious. Harry didn't just hire Sam Ghostwriter. How the hell do you know it's a Ghostwriter? Harry wrote his own book wow i'm telling you they can't just keep why can't they just mind their own business okay this is hilarious harry didn't just hire sam ghostwriter who did an andre agassi's book he even copied the front cover for photo only difference is one had a real class talent for sports the other a world class talent for whining wow with all the charities he create all the things that he's doing okay wow this is the uk mm. anyway let's see here oh she's pissed <laughs> they blacked him <laughs> okay if he had tweeted this much about his own book there it is maybe he will have cost the five thousand so more okay how many did he sell again let's see here okay like three thousand or something at least he beat my father's McCain. Okay, there's that. I'm weird. Okay, someone's scared that they're about to be exposed on global scale. Peace Morgan question. There's that thing again. Okay, is he important enough to be in a book about Harry's life? He's still trying to get Megan to respond to him. She doesn't even acknowledge his exist. Harry may feel the same. Okay, what a strange man. It's straight up creepy and obsession he has with him and his wife. Let's see this. After this one, I move okay, to the next tweet. Maybe Harry will not only expose his alleged phone hacking, but the fact he has been perving on his wife. Okay, now the, that's from 2016. Oh my God. Now this I will never seek to control. What the hell? At Meghan Marco. Well, that was effing creepy. What in the name? Okay, it is wrong that my sole interest in people Middleton's wedding is what Meghan Markle's are. What? Ah, this is fully crazy. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Looks like I'm probably going to have four videos of today's date because I have a lot of tweets. Okay, Meghan said that Harry's family situation is up to him, so why piss more on whining? He needs to blame her to feel right and special. She robbed him of her presence and lack acknowledging of him because he's always whining. Also, both he and his wife have a weird obsession thing going for Harry and Meghan. Okay, who? I don't even know who his uh, wife is, so ignore one day he is going to have a heart attack complaining about harry and megan i don't know uh, let me keep my thought about that to myself next tweet okay this is the last one regarding peace morgan if i recall correctly peace morgan was constantly inviting megan marco's estranged father onto his show to interview him because he was delighted to hear him say negative things about his own child now suddenly he's all about keeping dysfunctional family business private okay so he, she retweeted him imagine doing this to your family urged on by your wife 
who has already disowned her own family. Then imagine having the brass neck to preach about the compassion and call yourself a humanitarian. Oh my god. Okay, Royal Dreading Harry's Raw Unflinching Book. All right, there's that. I can't read that. It's too small. Okay, I read this is going to be a three book deal. Will Charles make it past number three? Okay, how did they know that? Okay, this is the first time I'm hearing about the three book deal. Okay, I would love it if it was three book deal, but that hasn't been said by either Harry or the publisher. It's the Daily Fail making things up as they are frustrated that they don't know what's in the book, so they're speculating. Yeah, I, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Absolutely. Amen. Peace Morgan has zero credibility and even less integrity. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, let's go to the next tweet. Now I'm moving to Tom Bauer. <laughs> okay. There's this here. Oh, that's uh, the parody of uh, Prince William. Sending out Tom Bauer and Valentine Law to write damaging books about Harry and Meghan is proving to be ineffective. I'm firing some people and I need a new strategy. Yeah, remember how Tom Bauer's book was everything. Probably almost every page you turn, it's a whole bunch of lies about uh, Harry and Meghan. Okay. So this is what he's making reference to. All they managed to do was build more sympathy for Harry and Meghan. When you lie 24 seven and your lies are big, over the top, unbelievable, whoopers, people don't believe anything you say. They're learning that the hard way. I don't know. I, I was, I've said this before. You would think even when they're doing their, their poll, whatever it is, that gov, whatever poll that they're doing, you would think they will go to somewhat a moderate number. <laughs> They went over the top. You'll be like, there's no way. <laughs> even you, even if you're not a, like a strategist person, whatever, but the numbers are too ridiculous to even believe. And then the positive way of looking at the royal family, it's just unbelievable. After knowing what you know, you know, that much about the royal family, there's no way that many amount of people will like, you know, I'm just saying they usually go beyond the unbelievable route of things. You should write a book title here. <laughs> You're effing late. It's already in the works. I think he tweeted something about, I realized that I'm pre-ordering. Yeah, there was a, I don't know if I uh, edited that video already where within that video, he mentioned uh, something about uh, the book of hair. He put a picture of William and then something here. Okay, change direction, go after your dad. He has done it already. Maybe write your own book, William. Harry's done it. Could name it here. That's exactly that. Or here. Yeah, he did that. <laughs> I'll tell you. They late. They didn't see that post. Yeah, maybe you need to turn to your special advisor rules. She should be able to shed some light seeing as you can't shed any more hair. <laughs> Let me move on because there's a lot of more important tweets to share with you. All right. So I thought that was kind of funny. Next tweet. Now is a bit more serious. Now this is US media. Prince Harry's raw new memoir, Spare, will be released in January 2023. Care Maggie Woolley. Maggie Woolley. Okay. Maggie Woolley has more detail on the highly anticipated book. All right. Two minutes and 12 seconds. I will have to stop in between. Okay. I want to get right to our cover story, Prince Harry's upcoming memoir. The title has been revealed along with some new details. Maggie Woolley is at Buckingham Palace with the story. Good morning, Maggie. Hey George, good morning. Yeah, it's that title, Spare, that's making headlines here this morning with all the usual suspects in the British tabloids jumping on the prince. This one saying, Royals in Despair. Right now, everyone just waiting to see exactly what's inside that memoir. This morning, Prince Harry's promising a raw look at royal life in his highly anticipated new memoir, revealing the book's cover, a close-up of the prince's face with one simple word for the title, spare, seemingly. And this is how they've been calling him throughout his life. He was a spare, so he used it for his own book. Now everybody, well, not everybody, majority of the people in the UK are crying foul. I don't know. They don't even know what he says, but let's listen a nod to growing up behind his older brother, the heir to the throne. The timing of this could be more unfortunate. The fact is the book's coming out four months after the death of the Queen and just a few months before 
the new king's coronation, so it's going to be a huge distraction for the royal family. Who oh, give a damn? Who cares? Who cares? Everybody, you know, if they had treated him well, with respect, along with his wife, maybe none of this would have happened. You know that? Because they left. They told them to go back to America. They mistreated his wife, even him, since he was a child. So now he, they told him to fly. Now he's flying. He needs to make a living. So he's doing what he needs to do. Wow. And then majority of the money of the proceed goes to charity. Something his father could learn from him. Is also announcing the book of quote unflinching honesty will be released January 10th, describing it as a remarkably moving personal journey from trauma to healing, saying the memoir will immediately take readers back to Prince Harry's childhood and the moment he and his brother walked in a procession behind their mother, Princess Diana's coffin hmm. after her death in 1997. We first found out about the memoir in July of 2021. The prince saying it would be a first hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly true. The yeah. books, the Everybody else in the UK seems to have the right to write about him. But for some reason, him writing about himself, no, 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 you can't do that. What the F? My goodness. Let's listen. Latest in a string of projects for Harry and Meghan since the two stepped out of the royal spotlight, including launching their nonprofit foundation, Archwell, Here's blockbuster the deals with Netflix and Spotify, to... and Meghan's podcast, Archetypes. There's been a lot of speculation about the, the sums involved here. There's supposed to be a three book deal with. Deal with multi-million hmm? pounds involved over 30 minutes who said okay so this is the second time i'm hearing it i just read it within that video that i'm doing right now someone wrote but where did he get that three book deal that's the first well second time i'm here maybe that person who wrote it on the tweet got it from him but where did he get it because harry and megan don't leak their information where did he get it but Let's listen. It's almost done, by the way. Million pounds, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Nobody is confirming that. That's between yeah. him and his. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Nobody is confirming that. That's between yeah. him and his accountant. We do know, though, that he will be giving money to charity. Well, tabloids here are saying the royal family is dreading this new memoir. But guys, the official statement from Buckingham Palace is that there's no comment guys i'll bet there's no comment okay mm -hmm. very much. exactly <laughs> okay there was something he said he covered his butt right after he said that three book deal i think it was something around here we'll have to wait and see on that nobody is yeah. confirming that that's between him and his accountant we there it is nobody confirm it so why the hell you put it out there uh this is just nonsense he doesn't know he covered his ass right there after he put that three book deal let's start it from a little bit more here. Megan's podcast, Archetypes. There's been a lot of speculation about the, the sums involved here. There's supposed to be a three book deal with yeah. multi million pounds involved, over 30 million pounds. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Nobody is confirming that. That's yeah. between. To a nonsense and then cover his ass. Nobody knows. My God. These him people. and his accountant. We do know, though, that he will be giving money to charity. Because it was mentioned. So you should focus on what was mentioned. Don't speculate nonsense all right let's read some of the comment the coronation is half year away and the other worlds are back to work the sussexes have done nothing wrong in fact he pushed the book back respectfully to the new year call archwell offices next time gma yeah yeah you should well you should tag gma on that okay stop using jabo he's speculating and isn't in any way close to the Sussexes, why is GMA and the UK when the subject of this story lives in California? Bingo! Please don't look for evil when we know very well how UK tabloid press has been denounced by Prince Harry. This was petty. That's a very good comment. Yo, Jobson, why GMA must you spread the putrid royal reporter's nonsense? These idiots all have books filled with unnamed sources and fiction, sickening, unfortunate timing. But in the last month, there have been endless bios on Harry and Royal published by the same hack. That's why GMA is losing the number one spot. The, oh, they are? I don't follow them, so I don't know. I know they exist, but I don't really watch them. Listening to information from the voter rats that they know is just pure lies. 
Okay, it ain't none of their business. What about the milk commercial for others? Settlement for still others. Already on Amazon bestseller two months before it released. Yep, there it is, number one there's that what else okay robert jackson is unprofessional as they come he gets more things wrong than he does right why jma chooses to work with him is beyond me <laughs> okay prince harry tells a memoir will never see the light of day because if it is published there will be no way back <laughs> for him into world life claim former toddler and vanity fair there's that mm -mm -mm. she called the uk papers tabloid also george's shade i'll bet there's no no comment yeah that's right i bet there's no comment they are trashy papers they are not they are not journalists what can you expect with so many karens and their lots all right so there's more comments let you know what let me read what's on the screen i just remember one of the comments on my videos that my my mouse was hovering over it but uh, i answered something and then never went back to the comment again all right so whatever is on the screen Okay, there's that. Ask Jabson how much he made from writing about Harry, Meghan, and even their son, Archie, despite always shading them and the media. Okay, so, ah, let's go to the next tweet. There's that. All right, I have faith and see sign everywhere whenever I go for a walk. I also believe the faith. There's the star. I am talking about Meghan Markle's future book. Okay, who fails me? Let's see here. The Duchess of Sussex has revealed that she found her royal journal while she was sorting through things at Frogmore Cottage, her former Windsor residence, during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. Hmm. Let's see here. In an interview with The Cut, the Duchess of Sussex revealed that she came across the Forgotten Journal at Frogmore Cottage in June when she and Prince Harry returned to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, having not seen the notebook since moving to North America in January 2020. The 41-year-old was admittedly surprised to re-read the content of its entries. I remember quote if it ever saw the light of day it will surely be dynamic another royal insider said by the sound of it this journal was discovery this summer backstop and shipped back to monticello the possibility of megan writing a book with the diary entries is reportedly now a major concern for the royal family who are worried that the duchess why can't they just mind their own business if they were treating her right they don't have to worry about this this is the thing I've been saying from the beginning when I started doing podcasts. They love to defend, defend, defend. Go back to do, trying to make right of things that they did wrong from the past. If they had treated her, if they had treated Harry and Megan, Megan in particular, with respect and dignity, they wouldn't have to worry about the damn thing. Wow. The possibility of Megan writing a book with the diary entries is reportedly now a major concern for the royal family who are worried that the Duchess outspoken nature could have a negative impact on its 96-year-old matriarch. Guess what? She's dead now. Don't worry about it. There's that. <laughs> yeah. I like the way they look straight into the camera. Okay, the fear is so real for the royal family and the UK media. They are losing it over the spare by Prince Harry. PC Morgan is literally throwing a tantrum. They are scared to be exposed, all of them. I love this for all of them. Be very afraid. <laughs> what them out themselves on the months to come about things they think might be in the book. It will be the shit show of the century. They are going to take the same approach they did with the Oprah interview trying to get in, in front of what they think is on the book. Yes, that I agree, but the title should be Archetype. Okay, that definitely that will be something. Maybe my time in the UK. If she's gonna write about the, the diary, my time in the UK. That's all. My time in the UK. Okay, that definitely that will be something. It will be sad though. That period was ugly. Yep. Mm hmm. Yes, I completely feel you. Okay, let's do whatever is on the screen. She just let them know that she could, but I don't think she will now. They seem to have foreseen or coordinated their work for many years. All the action are linked. I would rather see her book be named Warrior and her take <laughs> that path 
from her notes to her genealogy where she find out that not only she find the royal connection to Princess Diana line but also her connection to being 43% Nigerian. What a treasure that will be for her. Alright, so that's that. There's more comment. Let's move on to the next one. They into everybody's business and then they're driving themselves crazy. This is pure evil. Alright, so now I'm into media. Okay, this from at Jaza Fen, okay, says it all. The British media and the full outrage about Prince Harry's memoir saying it will destroy the royal family, the royal family that wasn't destroyed by Andrew paying 12 mil to his rape accuser or Charles Dodgy dealing William's affair but spare. All right, let's listen. He said himself that uh, he wanted to show uh, himself stripped down that the man he's become. So he's born a prince, but he becomes a man. That's his, his sort of line that's in the book. The, I love the fact that many of the, the Harry hating papers, which I think is pretty clear who, the, who, who those are, I mean, they're running stories that this book is going to destroy the royal family, but they've never read it. <laughs> that's exactly that they never read it but the speckler is gonna destroy it. what the hell and you mean all the stuff that they've been writing about harry oh my god this is so sick over there like, I mean, prince andrew giving 12 million pounds to a, a woman who accused him of sex abuse that doesn't destroy the royal family but a bloke just giving his version of the truth that's an outrage so he said himself <laughs> that's, that, uh, that's exactly that <laughs> that's what says diana all right, let's see here. If British people are guarded by the media into outrage over Prince Harry's telling of his truth and spare, it'll just confirm that it's not just the British media that thinks Prince Harry is worse than Prince Andrew, the pedophile prince, or Charles, the cash and carrying king. Okay, you are absolutely right. We have many bigoted people in this country. The fact is, there many will defend Andrew at every chance they get, but throw stones at Harry for marrying a black woman, and that tells you all you need to know about them. It's not all media's fault. Yep. And the thing is that when you're looking at uh, sometimes things that happen in the past, with various history all right there's no specific just in general when we look at it now we're saying oh my god this is the way they do things this is what they did now imagine in the future how our great grandkids gonna look back at us and say wow this is what people you know in our times we're doing glorify hate glorify pedophile everything negative should be glorified so this is where we are at a crossroad where we need to fight these evil people who wants to make nonsense to be somewhat on a pedestal god could i love matthew right anymore the man is consistently brilliant and fearless with these vultures who want to silence prince harry just love him oh so that's his name matthew right okay so many last straw so many camelbacks unbroken matthew has changed used to be like pierce oh okay maybe he sees where the money is so he ha just have to be truthful her <laughs> bills needs to be paid okay i'm even shocked either the scales have come off his eyes or awakened from his camel state of worship the so-called working royals i wonder which is which though okay so i don't know I don't know how he was before but the squad knows especially those who live in the uk i'm just sharing what they're sharing with you because i'm not in the uk but he's right though whatever i just read okay so this is another one uk media a must watch body slam nina misco laid out the fact prince harry quote i like to point out to tom two things for a man so keen on fact and desperate to trash harry it's oprah not oprah yeah she's been on tv for decades the other thing you should own up you have a dog in the race all right so oh it's pretty long four minutes and 28 seconds warning i'm gonna stop in between if you want to watch this full scale go somewhere in, um, i don't know on youtube it's probably on youtube i don't know all right, so I'm just letting you know. But Nina Mishkov, uh, you think this is a great thing that, that Prince Harry uh, wants to damage King Charles before his coronation? I don't think it's necessarily a situation of um, uh, Harry wanting to damage Prince Charles before his coronation. <laughs> Harry has every right to tell his story. Thank you. He has uh, been 
absolutely castigated uh, in the media for the last two or three years. He has every right to say what he thinks. And well, he's been castigated throughout his life, throughout his life, pretty much. But let's continue. And I don't know what the royal family are worried about. Mm -hmm. I mean, are they more worried about fact or fiction? Fact Thank from you. Harry or fiction from the Crown? I mean, in the Crown, there's this episode where uh, Charles is supposed to be asking for his mother to abdicate, which we absolutely know, according to John Major, is not a fact. Now, are they more worried about that or what potentially Harry is going to say? And, you know, all this fuss. His mother did it. His mother uh, cooperated with Andrew Morton, Diana, My True Story, and then gave that bombshell interview. And uh, her, his father gave the interview to um, Jonathan Dimbleby uh, and, and confessed on television to adultery, for heaven's sake. Um, <laughs> she can prepare. She can prepare. All of them have done it, but Heavy cannot do it. Oh, my God. These people are ridiculous, but let's listen. And at the same time, he cooperated with, with Jonathan Dimbleby on, on, his, on that memoir. And the memoir, he, he castigated his own parents, the Queen and particularly the Duke of Edinburgh. So what, you know, all the speculation of what Harry might or might not do has all been done before by both parents, by King Charles. Thank you. <laughs> she, she can prepare. That's spot on. But let's continue. How do you respond to that? Well, I think the only reason that Harry has been castigated, as you say, over the last two years is because of his conduct. The yeah. other point is... What has he done? What conduct? This guy has been minding his own business. His conduct. He has to make money. What is his conduct? This is the thing. Compared to... Uh, you know what? Let me not... Let's listen. Forget about what I was going to say. That, um, Diana's uh, cooperation with Morton was directed only at Prince Charles, as then was. Not against the whole royal family. She, she was she, rightly wounded. She never, she never criticised the Queen. She no, never criticised exactly. Him. She never no, tried to Harry, bring down to the fair, royal Harry, family, Nina. And I think that's what Harry is trying to do. I absolutely think I, <laughs> Harry is trying, trying. It's not a fact. Oh my God, these people are ridiculous. Trying to do trying to tell his own story, but yet he can't speak. Uh, Try to Harry, bring down to the fair, royal Harry, family, Nina, and I think that's what Harry is trying to do. I absolutely think, I think that's a completely ludicrous situation. Mm -hmm. And Harry has never, ever criticised the Queen. He has never criticised the Duke of Edinburgh. He's criticising he, he her He adores like the work. Queen. He's never... How did it feel, being back? Um, being with her? Mm. Being with her, it was great. It was, it was just so nice to see her. You know, she's on, she's on great form. We always, she's always got a great sense of humour uh, with me, and I'm just making sure that she's, you know, protected and got the, the right people around. Well, you her. criticised the Queen at all? He did. He did. And he criticised. He criticised her, uh, her upbringing of his father. I mean, with due respect to Mr. Bow, with whom I agree, and Miss Miska, with whom I sort of agree. So I think that Diana's disloyalty was a lot more. Uh, me was a lot more measured and a lot more covert and a lot more focused just on Charles. But Diana was perfectly happy to trash the institution of the monarchy as uh, if, if, she, if she felt she could damage the Prince of Wales as he then was. And Harry oh to a certain God. extent has... These people are crazy over there. The institution is inflicting, 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 but everybody else is protecting them. Oh my God. Lord, do your thing. Baggage for you. Replicated a lot of her conduct. Mm. No, I, I agree with that. I, uh, Tom Bauer, you, know, you you believe that actually all of this speculation that the book might have been toned down somewhat could end up uh, to prove prove to be untrue. <laughs> They're asking someone who wrote a book about the Sussex is every page, almost every page is a full of black. I highlighted on some of my videos i the squad brought it up they debunk his lies oh my god to ask him this question oh my lord could end up uh, to prove prove to be untrue well absolutely and in any case he's not going to row back they can't row back from all the 17 inaccuracies and lies they told to opera so they can only add to them opera. and that must mean more and more poison uh, and in the end this is their revenge this is what they've what been waiting the for They've got Netflix, they've got the book, they'll have interviews all over the world. They will be the number one trending 
couple in the world you get for that several right. days. You get that I'd, right. I'd like to point out to Tom, just to go back to a point he made, that how um, Harry was supposed to be um, trashing the royal family by and uh, criticizing the Queen by the way she brought up Charles. He was merely quoting his father and what he, the, way, mm. the, re the reason he was quoting his father was saying he was trying to break the cycle. The Queen, oh, Charles... So that's from the me you can't see. I get flagged for it. I can't put this because every time I put it there's an issue about him breaking the cycle. I'll try it to answer it. If YouTube give me issues I'll just cut it out. Offered, do everything you can to make sure that whatever experiences you, negative experiences that you had, that you can make it right for your kids. Isn't this all about breaking the cycle? Isn't this all about making sure that history doesn't repeat itself? That whatever pain and suffering has happened to you that you don't pass on? Yeah, so she's right. Let's move it back. What he, the, way, the, the reason he was quoting his father was saying he was trying to break the cycle. The Queen, Charles, him, and the way they treated their children. But it's still a like criticism. I'd like of to the point queen. out to. I'd what like to point hell? out to. It's still a criticism. Well, I think when he said it, the Queen was alive. How come the Queen didn't say anything? And he has met with the Queen since then. All right? So people need to tell their truth. He saw a cycle that was continuing, and the cycle wasn't good, and he wants to break it. How is this a criticism to the Queen? Oh my God, my God, my God. Please, Lord, come, we need you. Queen, Charles, him, and the way they treated their children. Yeah, but it's still like criticism I'd like of to the point Queen. Out to, oh, I'd like geez. to point out to Tom two things. One, for some man who was so uh, keen on facts and d desperate to trash Harry, it's Oprah, not opera. Mm -hmm. And I think you, would sh you, know, you should actually have ca caught on to that by this art. She's been on television for decades. And the other things I'd like to point out is that you also have a book out about Harry and Meghan called Revenge. Yes, it's and, brilliant. Um, you know, I, 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 you <laughs> know, I think you should own up that, that you are trying to sell your book. So you have a dog in the race. You you have, you have a dog in the waist. You should see their reaction when she's saying that. Look at their reaction changed. Just watch again. All of them, literally, their reaction changed. And the other things I'd like to point out is that you also have a book out about Harry and mm. Meghan called Revenge. Yes, it's and, um, you know, I, 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 you know, I think you should own up that, that you are trying to sell your book. So there. you have a dog in the race. You, all of their reaction change. Let's see here. What is Nina Osh type? Uh, maybe don't give to F. LOL. Cordana's disloyalty was a lot more measured. Do these people hear themselves? That's what I'm saying. Oh my God. Do these people hear themselves or their measure or degree of telling the truth? The royal psycho friends deliberate. Especially should just say that any coverage of the royal family that is not stenography is disloyal to the crown. Okay, it is Oprah. Nina <laughs> can prepare. Love it. Yeah, when you go into these shows with these people, Luton sick, you need to be prepared. My God. That was the best part. She didn't miss a bit. A lot of people who try to stand up for Harry and Meghan are so overwhelmed by all the fabricated talking point coming at them. They easily forget details like that. Yeah, that's true. This is the thing that I say. Uh, at the moment, you know who's good at this also? Uh, Dr. Shola, she remembers some very good detail at the moment. Your mind needs to be really good at that. I'm not good at that. I'm saying it, but I'm not good at that. In the moment, to be able to cut the nonsense that they're throwing at you. So this person is right. I agree with her. To be able to cut all of this stuff and to remember some of the things that had happened to fix their BS. Okay, that was the best part. She didn't miss a beat. A lot of people who tried to stand up for Harry and Meghan are so overwhelmed by all the fabricated talking points coming at them. They easily forget details like that. That is true. I agree with her. Okay, Nina has been in television for years and wrote a column for the now defunct, defunct news of the world, one of the Murdoch's rags. She has always been outspoken and never followed the party line. Ah, oh, okay. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not in the UK. I'm sharing with you whatever the squad share. And uh, I don't know. I don't know who she was. But at least to know people in the UK who's highlighting her um, her past as well. So she's been okay, I guess. Okay, why the Val Trio? I'm telling you. Well done, Nina. Who is the white hair woman? 
Okay, that's the one. Um, something Lady L. I think she is Jamaican or something. Oh, Lady C, not L. <laughs> I know there's a a, a letter um in her name. Lady C. She's a wannabe Aristo, a despicable, hateful royal psycho fan. Okay, I have no idea how Nina can stand interacting with these people. I'm telling you, you have to be. Yeah, yeah. She that was brilliant. That comment. Where is it? Um, that comment is really good highlight everything that needs to be said why are they so angry why are they so scared why are they so worried okay uh, afterwards there that's it Co all covering up for billy's affair pedo and Drew, chuck corruption the fake marriage within the family Anne's marriage has been over for years the queen had said no more divorces keep up with appearances and public do what you like privately but uh, be discreet carry on hmm <laughs> what is this now Okay, if William misbehaved, Kate will turn a blind eye. She wanted his marriage more than anything. Oh, okay. I don't know. You could read this. Uh, there's this. Uh, there's this. King Charles III may now be immune from prosecution and charity cash for probe. Wow. God, baggage for you. All of them. All of them baggage for you because you send us here to do your work, but these people are preventing us from move, you know doing what needs to be done ah uh, uh excellent why why is it fine for harry's narrative and history to be written by strangers based on anonymous sources which claim he's trashing the royal family but then not written about him what what's better a third party or the horse's mouth the objection is suspicious <laughs> spare let's see here that part Kenina handed their asses to them. Yep. <laughs> Kenina is very consistent. Okay. So there's some squad who's, um, who knows her past. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Why do all these dual people think Harry's life decision evolve around Charles? That's what I was saying before. Okay. And, um, and William, why do, why do all these dual people Thank Harry's life decision revolve around Charles and William. It just emphasizes that they don't see him as human but as a sacrifice to bully him and Charles. Ridiculous. Okay, they see him as disposal, in other words, the spare. Yep, that's why he called himself the uh, not himself, the book, the spare. Uh, why? Further observation. Rotten isn't even pretending he's not biased and fact averse. Calling Bowles fanfic brilliant. Yeah, I saw that too calling his book uh, brilliant because you know they're on the same page uh, why and condemn harry for what charles said nodding along to whatever diatribe bow and the tacky looking woman next to him or saying looking like a brick when nina talking okay <laughs> look it's funny she break that because i saw their reaction as well okay lol so exhausting just listening for a second kudos to nina is it a coincidence that of the three guests, the only one with any integrity is also the only attractive one? <laughs> ah, play with the sound off and look at Bowles and the woman next to him. Okay, I only turned up the sound when she was speaking. Uh, the funny thing, I remember Nina Miska when I was a child. She used to appear on a commentary show in the early evening. She is 76 years old and the way she is, her forthright, well-researched comment hasn't changed. She still looked like herself too. Okay, I can stand that smarmy, hypocritical New Zealander. Oh, that's, uh, what's his name? The host, the one who says Sussex Squad. What's his name? Wooten okay so that woman who was defending well just telling the fact pretty much uh been consistent okay not one squad is more than one squad who said it next tweet please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link cash app links in the description you can donate or you can become a member those who have donated thank you and thank you for your support
for me, it's a, an added member of the family. It's, a, it's, a, it's another, another team player as part of the, the bigger team. And you know, for all of us, all we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out our work, and try and encourage others and the younger generation to be able to see the, the world in the, in the correct sense, rather than um, perhaps being dis having a, a distorted view.